So let's connect it up. Still very happy with it. I'm going to make a stand. I'll do a completely separate video making a stand. But I've just got a piece of plastic there at the moment. So first thing we're going to do is connect my antenna to the using the BNC adapter, which you can get for a couple of pounds on Amazon, like so. And then we've got the power supply, which is the same as my Zigu <laughs> X6 200 100 we don't need to touch these and yeah it's sensible to ground it but we're not going to in this video and then we'll get the the power my sorry my pl259 we'll get my antenna on there which is a 49 to 1 ballon connected to a 66 foot length of wire about 10 foot up and then partially along a fence so it's a, actually a very poor antenna but normally in europe we will get some good contacts. Now remember um, that antenna really is crucial to getting good results. It's not about how much money you spend, it's always about the antenna setup. So do some learning on that. But anyway, let's plug in the microphone here. Now I'm, I've never used this device, so uh, that I, you know, I want you to know that I'm learning with you before people start messaging me saying you don't know what you're doing when I've never used it. So okay, um, so we've got the mic there. We're not going to put an external speaker in this video, but I will test test it with an external speaker. But for now, we'll just rest the microphone just here. Just going to just have a little listen round. And uh, let's we've got the power turned on. It's a 20 amp power supply, 13.8 volts or 12. You know you can use your car battery. We're going to hold down. The green light comes on. And yeah, first impressions. It's a very nice looking display. It looks like my Icon 7 100. It's obviously not because that's a £1,200 device. But it's very pleasing to the eye. And the speaker quality, I would say, is, isn't far different than my Zygu X6 200 and X6 100. Now we're on 20 meters. Uh, I think I'll go down to 40 where I tend to get better results. So on top. I'll try and go up a bit so you can see me using the up and down. We've got the band button here. We're going down to 40 meters and, and it is automatically selecting if I'm on USB LSB, which is nice. You can see LSB there. It just says R for receive. I'm guessing if I just briefly press the TX button. No, so it's got an R there and yeah, I don't know what it is. But there is a band scope that came on straight away. Uh, let's just tune up. See if we can get something. So we are receiving the usual FT8. Keep going up. And we're looking here for some activity. Now the LED lights are not going to help in this shack. There is an S meter there, the S6, at the same time as the, the band scope. Volume. I really like the knobs, you know, some people have changed them, but I really like them. I like the way it's printed here, it just looks nice. Mode. LSB digital, USB digital, CW, AM, FM. We press and hold the, the button on the top says pre and mode. We're just going to press and hold. That's your preamp. It's a shame. I was hoping to get some activity. Someone there. That's better. It's not great. And now, antenna tuner wise, I will be at testing it with my ATU100M, but not in this video. Of course, there's an on off button here. Tuning wise, if I press and hold the band right and left, so at the moment we're tuning just this digit. If I press and hold to the left, it moves to this digit. So that's giving you larger increments of tuning, which is handy. If I press the VFO, we've got VFO and memory mode. 
we need to add some memory channels a and b so there is an a and b band let's do the b on a different band altogether there's your 10 meter band and then we'll do the pre press a and b working great let's press this one here press and then quit I would say that's memory right so press hit it and then save and you've now got a memory channel Let's see if it goes to VFO memory and the best way is to go to a different band and then we'll go to press memory yeah and it went to the memory that we've got okay press again Oh, you can clear a memory as well. Quit. Quite basic. We're in memory mode, I think, there. So we're going to go like that. Back to VFO. Push this again. It's definitely easier to use the circle because you've got these grids around the side. We will come back when the conditions are, are better and they Okay, when you press and you get the sub menu there are five see that says one of five so when you press We've done the first one press again. It does time out number two you've got all your CW settings there press again number three You've got KS, KM, IMB, and CSN. I'll tell you what that means. Just reading the manual, it says automatic key rate was the first one. KM is key mode. And then IMB is liambic mode. And CSN is startup information settings. Okay. Let's just press that one. And there you are. You can go into it. So maybe, I'm pretty sure you can put your call sign in there. So you might as well do it. M and then we get zero. Oh, we just use an O. <laughs> it's near enough. Zero. F. There's your numbers there when you go back, but. It's nice that we can add that, I think. B, and then save. So we turn it off. Oh, it's a backlight. See that? Backlight on off with the power button. Bye. And then turn on. M0FXB, quite small, but it's definitely there. Uh, the next one, if we could press like so and go to, well, let's just show you number two, which is CW filter, CW side tone, CW dot on dash, and QSK switch. Okay. Uh, and then number four, the next one was pushing again to number four is pilot frequency mode. So it looks like split to me. Display mode, what's that then? Let's do a couple. Um, you can have scope. Oh, you press it, scope. Big scope. And scope. So what you, I bet you get rid of, if you go big scope, I bet you get the scope, but you lose the S meter. Yeah, you do. Okay, and then if you go to number five, that turns on the broadcast radio. Like so, WFM, don't know what BSM is, but we'll do. My favourite is Radio 1. Was brought to life, uh, for me. Sounds um, great. Because I don't think nice big screen, press again, I will go quit. And then we're going to press BSM. Full band. Oh, and handband, let's press that again, sorry about that. 
So full band, you're going to get more selections, I would say. Let's let's go through them. 10, 11, 20, 18, 19, 21, 22, 24. There's your CB bands. Now people are going to say, can you get FM? I'm not seeing FM, so AM, CB, which, you know, in some places is popular. I'm not sure if you can transmit on that anyway. AM, and then back. So you get more, you get these on the same thing on the Zygu, don't you? I think I prefer the uh, the display mode. If I press it with both. So number four, and then scope, scope, and S meter. That's the one I prefer definitely. And then it times out. Now I have got a speaker here, so I might as well try it. So we're just going to plug it in to the jack. It's just an old Icom speaker. Oh, it looks like you have to select it. I have plugged it in. It must be a menu to select that one. Yeah, there it is there. You just press the volume. Yeah, it's more bassier. I don't know if it's better, but it's definitely more bassier. And the thing I have, I can't see is any sort of DSP or filtering. Oh. I'll just show that again. Press. Turn to four, then version. And we'll look version 1.0 so there is actually a firmware update which i'm going to add thanks for watching so far lots more to do bye for now 73